Hello everyone. Following our Odoo Connect 2025 in San Francisco, I received a lot of requests to record my talk and make it shareable online. So here it is. If you're choosing an ERP based on who has the best AI, you're asking the wrong question. The right question is, who has the best platform for a world where AI is everywhere? That's the game Odoo is winning. Now, usually I'm on my channel or online doing product demonstrations, building workflows, showing features, or clicking through the UI. But today isn't about features. There were plenty of other talks that demonstrated and highlighted the new AI features of Odoo, but this is about something bigger. The philosophy behind Odoo, the way we're positioned, and why I believe we're in a perfect spot to lead the ERP market into the AI era. What we're going to talk about is not how a single feature works, but how you should be thinking about ERP in the new reality. If you're a customer, how you should use it. If you're a partner, how you should sell it. And if you're still evaluating, how to make the safest and smartest bet for your business. Some quick context about myself. I lead Odoo's mid-market and enterprise sales team for our U.S. East Coast headquarters in Buffalo, New York. I've been directly involved in most of our largest and more complex implementations. My background spans computer science, business, and of course, hands-on Odoo experience. I've seen how the architecture works. I've sold it at the executive level, and I've been there when it goes live. That intersection of technology, strategy, and execution is exactly where today's conversation sits. Now, everyone who's watching this has heard it before. AI is disrupting industries. But I don't believe that's the full story. AI is simply the enabler. The real disruption is what happens next. When AI makes building software so cheap, so fast, so accessible, that the entire basis for competition changes. When anyone can build features in days instead of months, features stop being the moat. The question becomes, who can get those features into the most businesses the fastest? Who can deliver them reliably, securely, at scale, across industries, and across geographies? That's when distribution, not the feature list, becomes the moat. To succeed, You'll need both scale and speed with a business model that is cost effective for this new reality. And this isn't speculation anymore. If you're not following business software as much as I am, AI is everywhere. Microsoft is embedding Copilot everywhere. Salesforce is betting everything on agents. Even SAP, not exactly known for moving fast, is scrambling to add AI. The transformation is happening now. The question isn't whether AI will change ERP, it's simply who will win when it does. So let's take a look at the ERP market today. It falls into three buckets. First, you have the legacy giants, the SAPs, NetSuite, and Dynamics of the world. They have distribution, but they're slow. Their architecture is decades old, which makes change really expensive. Second, you have the startups, including the AI-first ERPs. They are fast and exciting, but their strategy is flawed in the long run. They lower the barrier to entry by connecting to everything. But that's a trap. When you're connected to a thousand different systems, you don't have a unified platform. You simply have patchwork with no single source of truth and no unified data model. Meanwhile, Odoo has been quietly taking market share. We understand that companies don't switch ERPs lightly. Some keep them for decades, or even longer. Now, while startups try to sneak in through integrations and giants defend their brand, Odoo's building the unified platform that actually replaces the legacy systems, which we all set out to do in the first place. Here's why Odoo will succeed and why I'm betting my career on it. Odoo sits in a sweet spot, big enough to matter, millions of users, thousands of partners, and a truly global reach but still agile enough to ship new capabilities 
every release without legacy politics or bloat. In the AI era, this combination is everything because speed without scale will fade and scale without speed will get disrupted. We have both, plus an open architecture that lets us integrate AI faster than anyone else. While competitors fight each other over today's market, we spent 20 years building for this moment. One consistent vision. Create the all-in-one platform that actually replaces legacy systems. Now, at the AI crossroads, that patience pays off. We're not pivoting to AI. We're already built for it. Now here's what most vendors won't tell you. In the AI era, closed systems become limiting. Look at the equation. Postgres, Python, JavaScript. These are open standards that developers already know, that AI models are already trained on, that existing tools already support. Our open platform has allowed us to be in the position we find ourselves in today. Compare that to legacy ERPs with proprietary languages or newer platforms that to keep their architecture closed. When AI can generate Python code in seconds, but your platform requires proprietary syntax or special APIs, you're adding friction to innovation. This openness is also what enables our mid-market white glove sales process. We use AI to build working prototypes during the sales cycle, often in hours instead of weeks. We can do this because AI-generated code works directly within our platform. No proprietary languages to learn, no special translations needed. When AI makes development faster and cheaper, you want a platform built on standards everyone already uses. We've talked about distribution, speed, and the platform, but how does that shape the way you should be thinking? When software is a commodity, you're not buying a list of features. You're buying a philosophy, how the vendor operates, how the ecosystem works, how the platform adapts. Fabian, our founder, has always said that software will become a commodity, and I believe that to be true. And when that happens, the smartest play isn't to build everything from scratch. It's to start with a foundation that's already affordable, already secure, already proven, and then use AI to rapidly extend it. Legacy ERPs are locked into business models that make change expensive to slow. Startups will need to raise prices to survive as they scale. Odoo is built to scale affordably, to stay open and flexible, and to adapt quickly, because we've always been that way. That philosophy is our competitive edge in the AI era. Now, I said I wasn't going to do a product demo. Instead, I'm going to do a platform demo. I'm going to show you something that no other ERP vendor can do. In a few minutes, I'm going to build a complete workflow using AI. We'll create models, views, business logic, and deploy it straight into our testing environment. So let's get right into it. All right, so we're using Cursor AI as our AI code editor. I'm going to let this run and I'll come back and explain what's going on. But first, let's talk a little bit about what we should expect. So AI is not 100% accurate and there's a chance that we get some bugs in our code and we'll try to debug those live if necessary. But hopefully this works on our first try. So we gave it a prompt and the system is going to, or the AI model is going to run through this prompt and try to build out all the code necessary in order for us to have our working model. So what are we trying to build? I'm gonna scroll over here and just look at our prompt and we'll explain what we're trying to build and some nuances to the prompting. So for some industries like construction or staffing, they require certain customer compliance documents. Let's think W9, uh, certificate of insurance or any other document. They need these on file and current before confirm confirming a sales order or a to schedule work. So what we're going to build is a lightweight guardrail on the Odoo sales platform. And this is going to be per customer where we can set which compliance documents and types are required for that customer in order to confirm a sale order. We wanna track the dates and get alerts this is going to be a pretty simple, yet uh, very integrated approach to our use case here. 
So we given, we're giving the AI model a task and a use case. We have some requirements. So we, have, we want a complete manifest. We want all the necessary security files. We want to make sure that it does proper model inheritance, use sample data where appropriate. So for example, we want some default W9 or certificate of insurance and make sure that the folder structure is in the user's folder. And that's where we're going to store any of our custom developments. Now the Odoo or rather the AI model sometimes gets things wrong. Um, and that's simply because it knows several different versions of Odoo. So we, here we have some context about Odoo 18. So make sure that you use a list view instead of a tree view in the XML. It, it commonly gets that wrong. So as you build up your prompts, you'll see the common errors and be able to include those errors in the prompt so that you don't face them in the future. Down below, we have some functional specifications. And this is important because it shows that we still need understanding of Odoo. You're not just going to use this and turn it on, but once a really good functional person that has a little bit of coding background has an understanding of the AI model and the Odoo platform, they can quickly build prototype applications. And that's what I'm doing here. Now I have a lot of Odoo experience and a lot of development background. Um, so I'm able to fine tune my prompt and make sure that the AI model understands it and gets it right with minimal um, effort from my end. And this is really how we're able to take a customer requirement and then build that into the solution. So let's go ahead and see what happens. So it looks like we're done. We're going to go ahead and run this. So it just wants to verify that we have all the files that it thinks we need. It's created a partner compliance document. And if we scroll through this, you'll see that it created a ton of different files. We have our manifest, our init file. Uh, we have our Python files, new models, including compliance types and compliant document, inheriting res partner and sale order. We have our access rights. We have our XML views that are going to inherit the existing views for the most part or create new ones. And then if we scroll over to the left, we can find our partner compliance that was just generated. So here we have some sample data. We have compliance type sample data, certificate of insurance, business license, safety certificate. Under models, we have our NIT file. We have our compliance document. We have our compliance types. We are inheriting our res partner. We are inheriting our sale order to do a check on the action confirm. We have our security. And of course, we have our different views. So we have our list view here, partner views, adding our menu item, our compliance type view, and our compliance document view. So we're going to keep all of these and hopefully it'll work on our first try. If not, we can debug it. So I'm just going to refresh my server here. I typically use Visual Studio on a day to day, uh, but for our example, we're using cursor. So that's refreshing. We're going to go into our environment. We're in our local host. I'm going to refresh and I'm going to search for compliance and I might need to remove apps here. So we have our partner compliance gate. So that's the model that was just generated. I'm going to go ahead and click on activate here and we're going to see if it installs. If it installs, we should have minimal bugs and we can probably have a working prototype. So perfect. It worked on our first try. That's great. So let's go into contacts and see what we should expect under compliance. Um, this is a new menu item that was generated by the AI. We have types and documents. So if we go into types, we see bond certificate, business license, a description, and whether or not it's active. We have no documents yet. If we go into contacts here, I'm just going to create a new contact. And we see a new compliance tab. Under compliance, we have a Boolean field that says is compliant. Then we can set some required compliance types. So let's say that this needs a bond certificate. So because we need a bond certificate, we're no longer compliant. So this is a computed field. I can add my bond certificate, give it an expiration date, upload a file. We're just going to upload any file for this example. And now we are compliant. So let's go ahead and try to use this in a sale. So we'll go into sale. We'll use our Kevin Zaki. We'll add a product. That's uh, product one. 
and we'll give this a price and save. Now this should confirm with no problem as it does. Perfect. Cause we are compliant. So now let's go ahead and go into Kevin and we'll manipulate this. We'll add a new requirement here. So we'll do a business license. Now let's duplicate our order. We'll see we're no longer compliant. Let's try to confirm it. And we see cannot confirm sale order partner. Kevin Zaki is missing required compliance documents, business license. So with a, a prompt, um, and let's add another one and see if it can recognize that we're missing two out of the three. Let's go ahead and click on confirm. So now we're missing business license and certificate of insurance. Now I didn't specify exactly how I want this design, just the outline and the AI model took it over and did exactly what I would have wanted in the first place. So now if I add those two documents and we go ahead and add our business license, as well as our certificate of insurance. And we upload a file here. And we save this. Now we are compliant and we should be able to confirm this. So it works ex exactly how we expect it. So let's go back to our slide deck here. That's it. Five minutes from idea to deployed. That only works because we're truly open. Now I want to make some things clear. The initial implementation that doesn't necessarily change. You still need to understand the business. You still need to build an MVP. You still need to know Odoo's patterns and best practices. The AI needs context, but so do you. Now partners, here's what changes everything. You can now adapt that same proof first approach our mid-market team uses. Stop spending weeks in discovery calls talking about what might work. Start building proof of concepts during your first meetings instead. Your best consultants, the ones who truly understand the client's business, they're no longer stuck explaining possibilities. They're demonstrating realities. AI will handle the rapid prototyping and your people focus on understanding the unique business challenges and proving that Odoo can solve it. Now think about it. When you can build a working prototype of their specific workflow during a sales call, you completely change the conversation. You move from trust us, it will work, to here it is, working. That's not just a faster sales cycle. That's a completely different level of customer confidence. And that's how we're winning against the legacy players. While they're still doing requirements gathering, we've already built the solution, or at least a prototype. Partners who master this approach aren't just implementing faster. They're winning deals competitors never had a chance at. For customers, in a world where software is a commodity, your foundation matters more than ever. You want something that's affordable, adaptable, and secure. So you can spend your time and budget on the differentiators that matter to your business. With Odoo and AI, you're not locked into our vision of how your business should run. You're building your vision on our foundation. The platform stays solid and secure while the tools you build on top of our platform, get faster, smarter, and more capable each year. So stop paying for features you'll never use and start building exactly what you need. So I'll leave you with this. Legacy can't move fast enough. Startups can't scale fast enough. Odoo can do both. When building becomes easy, the winners are the ones who can deliver change to the most companies, the fastest, and the most reliably. That's Odoo's position today, and that position is only getting stronger. We're not winning because we have the best AI. We're winning because we have the best platform for the AI era. So come build with us, bet on Odoo, and if you still want a product demonstration, you know how to reach me.